for this evening's spooky adventure i am here at king's island amusement park and tonight we are attending the annual halloween haunt i've never done this before it's going to be super fun i was going to bring my gimbal but this is going to be an all hands-on thing i'm not going to risk dropping my phone and damaging my equipment so therefore this will be all handheld and tonight we're going to go through some haunted houses we're going to check out some scare zones we're going to check out this year's exclusive merch and just have a frightful good time so join me as we head in and check out king's island's halloween haunt i like how outside of the front entrance here they have these displays we got a pumpkin here and over there we have a skull get your picture taken with it all right everybody welcome to king's island right up front here next to the entrance they have these giant skeletons along with the king's island haunt sign right here and both pillars are on fire and i do believe that they have some um fire cannons that shoot flames up they might do it early they might do it when it gets dark i'm not sure just making my way over to the stage walking past these uh stores here we got build a bear workshop we got la rosa's pizza we're gonna have to stop back there and get some dinner later we got cinnabon and up top there we have some skeletons hanging out on both sides on both buildings and then right over here we have graders ice cream oh check this out got some skeletons up there hanging out as well so this right here is a little bit of a picture opportunity i'm gonna make my way to the front stage and see if they have anything going on up there checking out some of the skeletons hanging on for dear life from the ceilings from the rafters Oh man. So this right here is the stage and I'm waiting to see if they have any kind of show or any kind of announcements going on. I'm not sure, I don't see anybody yet. Oh, here we go. So many familiar faces. What are you doing out of your cage? Seriously, having a lapse in judgment in the back there. <laughs> oh, and you sir, thank you for coming without your hair. I see you're ready for your lobotomy. <laughs> Oh, what's that look on your face? Forget why you're here? Taking photographs and video for snap your neck chat? <laughs> well, take as many pictures as you can. I used to have the digits to do so. And the mental acuity as well. Don't worry, most people's smartphones are actually more intelligent than the operator. <laughs> Detroit Lions Still better than the Bengals <laughs> Which reminds me, anyone out there wearing your Bengals jerseys Soon you'll be as dead as their careers <laughs> Oh, I see who's it over here Uh oh well, sir, Wearing your camouflage pants you're not working, I can still see you. <laughs> Wish I couldn't. <laughs> right over here, the other side of the fountain, they'll find more gold than ever before. Nevious nightmare. But you may call me the Undertaker. <laughs> For it is I who preside over 
whatever it is that becomes of you here amongst these my creations of King's Island's Halloween haunt. <laughs> crowd and I got targeted by one of the clowns because I'm wearing my Pennywise it shirt and it was crazy it's not the people the scare actors that were scaring me it was the pyro stuff that went off the, the loud bangs so there's not really anywhere in particular that I'm gonna start out at I'm just gonna go and wing it man I can't wait to see this place all lit up when it gets dark Oh wow, check out this hearse right here. Halloween haunt King's Light on the license plate says be afraid. That's cool. We got the fog rolling out looking like the Undertaker about to show up. Oh wow, what is this guy? Is he like a troll or something? An ogre? What is going on here? He's going back to sleep, I guess. So I'm directly behind the Eiffel Tower and I'm gonna make a left. Well, technically it would be right. I'm just gonna walk this way and see what's going on. All right, so the park is open from six to midnight. I don't think we're gonna be here that long, but we're here to have a good time and just do everything that we possibly can do. All right, everybody, put your hands up. People on the roller coaster are about to hit their drop. And here they go. There is another hearse parked up here on this hill. I don't think there's any significance to it. It's just a hearse. But they do have speakers down below, so maybe it plays music at some point throughout the night. I would also like to add that I am not riding any roller coasters tonight. I know it doesn't make sense. I totally could, but I don't like heights. I don't like roller coasters, so I'm not riding the roller coasters. Instead, we're gonna go through the haunted houses and go through the scare zones, so. And here is La Rosa's pizza building. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I'm definitely gonna have to get some pizza tonight. There is a specific haunted house that I'm trying to find. I believe it's called Kilmart. I'm not sure, but I'm determined to find it. It looks like it's this way to the slaughterhouse, uh, haunted house, so let's see if we can find it. All right, so I just finished up through the slaughterhouse. Unfortunately, they do not allow filming in the fun houses, uh, haunted houses. However, that was really cool. It's, it's the slaughterhouse, obviously, but if you walk through it, it feels like you're walking through like a Saw movie, because there's blood, guts, gore, everything spread throughout. People scaring you, obviously. They got me a few times, I'll give them that. And I also felt like I was on a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, so. The gore in that one is great. I dig that one. It's funny because when I walk in by myself, I start talking to myself, trying to get my mind off of what's happening and then the people jump out everywhere. I just start having random conversations with them. Like, 
there was a dude in there wearing the pig mask from uh, Saw. And I'm like, oh, Saw, nice. And he just started naming off other movies. It's great. All right, here they come. I just wanted to see this really quick. It looks cooler in person. Video doesn't do it justice. On we go. All right, so we're about to go inside of Madame Fatel's Cavern of Terror. And check out this haunted house. All right, Madame Fatel's Cavern of Terror was really interesting. They got me a few times, mostly just the um, the air cannons. Those get me a lot. <laughs> um, lots of gore. Made me feel like I was walking through like the House of Wax type stuff. So we're gonna try and find some more. All right, we're about to walk through one of the scare zones, and they have definitely put in a lot of fog here. So someone's gonna pop up here shortly. I just know it. Thank you. Oh, I feel like I'm on the fog. I can't see nothing. I hear voices. How could anybody see anything? There's like buildings over here that we can walk through. We're gonna walk through these really quick. It says security on it. See what's going on through here. Oh man, it's loud. And that's it. All right, so no scare actors over here by the uh, shed looking area. So we're going to make our way back. Uh, I don't even know where I'm at. We're gonna make our way somewhere and find something to do. Somebody cue the Undertaker theme song right now. <laughs> I need this sign in my life. Beware of, well, just beware. All right, so I have found a park map here. I'm trying to figure out where to go. And down here is a little legend. So we haven't really walked through any of the scare zones yet, even though the one we walked through they do scare people with like chainsaws and they go after people and stuff and whatnot. But indoor mazes, we have done the slaughterhouse and we have done Madame Fatel's Cavern of Terror. So we're looking for Hotel St. Michelle, Kilmart, and Alien Abyss. So one, two, and four. I'm trying to think. Um, we are here. So we want to go, oh shoot. One, two, and four are on the other side of the park. So we're gonna have to head over that way and uh, go through those indoor mazes. Now we are walking through the Camp Snoopy area. There are no scare zones or mazes. Over this way, I just wanted to show what Camp Snoopy looks like when there is nobody using it and it is really creepy we're gonna have to walk back through here when it gets dark because let me tell you it's gonna get really creepy i stopped dead in my tracks to look at this sign the bride of frankenstein ice cream fall in love with this black and white swirled soft serve chocolate ice cream served in a delicious cone my god that looks amazing so the other scare zones and mazes are on the other side of the park. One way I can tell where I'm at is just by looking up and I see the Eiffel Tower here. I just uh, come up really close to that and we will find our way through at some point. I'm really curious about something. I've always wanted to go to the top of this. I wanna see if they actually do it. I see the line forming over here. And I'm gonna see if I can go in. Well, go up. Never in my wildest dreams 
would I ever think I would be at the top of the Eiffel Tower at Kings Island. Check out this view. I'm standing here facing the front of the park. You can see the uh, water area there with the stage at the bottom. This is insane. Here is the left side of the park in accordance to the front entrance here. This is just wild being all the way up here and seeing this. And here is more of the back of the park here. See the roller coasters there off in the distance. This is just absolutely breathtaking. And it couldn't have happened on a better day. Look how beautiful the weather is. It's like mid 70s, no clouds in sight. Perfect day for this. This is the side of the park that we just came from. As you can see, the red roller coaster right there. And if you look real close, La Rosa's Pizza is right there, the little yellow building. And just beyond that is the slaughterhouse, the first uh, indoor maze that we went through. And I believe Madame Fattel's is right about there. And then to the right is the Camp Snoopy area. So we have to make our way to the left side of the park now. I do know that the alien indoor maze is back here somewhere. Actually, two of the three that we need to walk through are in this area. So, man, I can't wait till it gets dark out. We might have to come back up here when it gets dark and check out the park when the darkness falls here inside the park. So we were just on top of the Eiffel Tower there and before we make a left and check out the left side of the park let's go in and check out some of the merch that they have for this year. So they have these interactive lanterns that you can buy. They're $39.99 and Jesus Christ. They have designated areas throughout the park that you can hold the lantern up to. There's a little sensor right here at the top and it activates a specific animatronic that you're standing next to. So that's a really cool thing that they're doing. And here we go into the merch shop. Check out this little guy here. Let's see what they have. We have a wall full of plushies. I see a couple that are really interesting. Oh, there's Mothman. Heck yeah. I'm not entirely sure what in the heck these creatures are, but they look really cool. Especially these bigger ones down here. I really like the pumpkin. Like we have an owl and some other creatures over on this side these bigger ones in the center here and of course Mothman and here they have a few shirts that you can get some coffee mugs that say Phantom Theater on it this must be a Phantom Theater section right here because everything right here says Phantom Theater on it here we have a Kings Island Halloween haunt hoodie with a skull on it and it says Kings Island on the side of the sleeve Also glows in the dark. They also have these t-shirts here With some creepy clowns and skulls people with no skulls jack-o-lantern down there and this is a t-shirt of the hoodie with the skull on it that says Hot Kings Island. Down here we have some sh shot glasses. That's the flames behind me. And these really cool coffee mugs. And these little water bottles right there. And we got little plushy bats over here too. I'm digging some of this year's merch they have. So earlier I mentioned the interactive lanterns for $39.99. This is what they look like. They have a spider on them. So this is one of the sides 
and this is the front of it right here it says halloween haunt at king's island right there on top of it is the sensor and you hold that up to whatever interactive thing that you're close to and it senses it and something will happen with a specific animatronic and right there where that little wi-fi uh thing is there's a switch and you can either turn this colors or you can hit the interactive sensor so for 40 bucks these are pretty cool especially when you walk around with night at nighttime check out these little statues here day of the dead this one's cool. and down here we have some little haunted houses with some little characters in them little trick-or-treaters right there down here we have some potions witch's brew potion well they're both witch's brew and some skeletons in the middle and down here is like a tree with some pumpkins on it here we have a pumpkin eater shirt it is one of the scare zones that you walk through here which we'll be walking through shortly also glows in the dark here's another king's island halloween haunt shirt it has got a creepy pumpkin on it also glows in the dark so this hoodie right here has all of the scare zones and all of the haunted mazes on it pumpkin eater kill mark cornered abandoned Madame Fatel's Cavern of Terror, Slaughterhouse, Alien Abyss, uh, Hotel St. Michelle. That's really cool. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark in here, but that's really cool. So this right here is one of the merch walls with some of the shirts and goodies that you can get. I'm really digging this orange, black, and yellow sweater right there. We have some plushies some more sweaters some pajama pants we have a little satchel thingy a cool haunt king's island beanie which kind of looks like the dead island logo we got some keychains right here some pens and of course the cups and hats i'm gonna leave with something i just know i am so this right here is a little bit of a photo opportunity inside the shop here. It's got a really cool chair with some skulls on it and some bat wings. So come by and get your picture taken in this cool chair. Oh look, we have Dracula. All right, so up there is the front of the park. You can see the flames there. This is the gift shop that we were just in. This is like halfway down on the left side. And we're gonna go through one of the scare zones. This building over here to the left is like a food mall. It's got a bunch of food and stuff in it. It's got Panda Express. If I wouldn't have had Panda yesterday, that's totally what I would be getting. But food here is so expensive. We're now we're gonna go into Hooked, one of the scare zones. Oh man! Ah. <laughs> I'll uh, cut you like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love the scare zones. There be no lighthouse in this fall. This is so cool. I'm looking for Captain Jack Sparrow. Has anybody seen him? Jack Sparrow, has anybody seen him? <laughs> oh! Arr, matey! Uh oh. Give me a flood of bones, boy! <laughs> oh! Oh, this is so cool. Get off my ship! Uh! Okay, so that is the hooked scare zone. That's so cool. All right, coming up to the cornered sign. 
to the left. Let's see if we can find it down this way somewhere. They have a drink booth called the Rotten Gourd, and the guy up there is waving at me. Cornered this way. I have found the cornered haunted maze. I'll see you guys on the other side. Rare, there's a rare chance it will actually the right will break down and you can be stranded up there. You don't know when you'll fall. Yeah, I definitely would not want to be stranded up there. Oh my goodness. That's one of the biggest reasons why I'm terrified All right, so I just finished the haunt maze corner. Very interesting to say the least. So when you walk through it, it starts off kind of like a corn maze in a way. And then it goes in to like a greenhouse and then into a barn type situation. And then it goes into a house that looks like it's off of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That being said, I really enjoyed that one. Didn't really get me all that much, but it's really funny to see everybody else getting scared. I'm trying to find Killmart. We have, I think, two, three left. We have Hotel St. Michelle, Killmart, and Alien Abyss to go. I don't know which ones we're going to get to, if we'll get to all of them, but we're going to try because lines are getting longer. All right, so I'm coming up to the Pumpkin Eater Scare Zone. Let's see how it goes. People are disappearing into the fog. That's really cool. See if anybody can get me. Oh, it makes me nervous. Oh! Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Shh! Quiet! <laughs> they got the people behind me. People over here taking pictures. Nope, not as good. Not as good as the uh, hooked one. All right, so I've made it to the front of the uh, park here, and I gotta go back and try and find the other three haunted houses. I gotta find a map somewhere. All right, so right down that way is the hooked scare zone this is the merch shop that we were in earlier we're gonna walk this way and walk past the eiffel tower to the left and see if we can find the other scare zone oh my god it gets me every time and the park is lit up finally darkness has fallen here at king's island I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is the grand carousel all lit up. Man, they really went all out with the fog machines this year. I could hardly see anything. And right next to the giant ogre thing, we have this cemetery that's all lit up. This is super cool. And I do believe that some of the names on these headstones are former rides. Don't quote me on that. I heard from somebody else that they were, but I'm not sure, but this has to be one of the coolest areas. Very creepy though, but super cool. So this is the carnival-ish area. We will walk through that very shortly. There are scare actors wandering around on these grounds out this way. We'll make our way back there very shortly, but for now, we're gonna try and find our way to the next scare house. All right, so I have found the Killmart haunted maze. We're gonna walk through it and I'll tell you what it's all about when we come out the other side. All right, so I just went through the haunted maze Killmart that hands down so far is the best one. It's basically like a grocery store and you walk through different uh, departments. There's like pets, pharmacy, they even had Christmas trees at the end of it, and it was definitely one of the coolest ones so far. So, on to the next one. All right, now we're walking through what's known as Coney Mall. 
and sometimes there are scare actors out this way we'll see who or what comes our way as we walk through here momentarily we will make our way to hotel saint michelle in the alien abyss but for now we're gonna check out the coney mall area got conjoined twins here all right now we are walking the opposite way we're gonna try and find hotel saint michelle in the alien abyss haunted mazes there are some people walking around dressed as clowns scaring people and they're doing a pretty good job here comes one right there and i have found the entrance to hotel saint michelle or as it's called hotel hell we're gonna have to find the line and wait oh we got some yeah. people over here Ooh. <laughs> all right so we just went through the hotel saint michelle or also known as hotel hell the wait time was about 20 30 minutes and we were only in there for maybe like 30 seconds but super cool concept i really liked it i just wish it was a little bit longer they got me a couple times they scared me a couple times we ended up walking through this hotel room it was completely bloody and I was looking to my right and the blood and the wall and the bed and all that stuff and somebody came out from the left and got me but I just wish that one was a little bit longer but we're making pretty good time it's just after 9 30 going on 9 45 we have one more haunted maze to go through the alien abyss we're gonna find it and then we're gonna go through the hooked pirate scare zone again because that was a lot of fun so let's see what we can do and this way to the alien abyss I'm gonna walk this way and find the line and right here is the alien abyss area we're gonna go in all right so we just finished the alien abyss area and it's really cool if you're into like aliens and all that stuff but basically you walk through a laboratory and the aliens got on the loose and that's pretty much it and it's pitch black in there you can't really see your hand in front of your face but cool concept so that's it for the scare mazes fun i dig it and check out this creepy alien thing right here next to one of the buildings on display. What in the heck? I love that the Eiffel Tower has evil eyes like it's lit up like a pumpkin. So they have an airbrush station where people airbrush t-shirts. Look what I found. It's a Jaws one. How cool is that? It says Bruce on it. I dig it. All right, so we're gonna walk through the hooked scare zone again because it's so much fun. Skin you we will, and alive you will be. Oh. And then we're gonna throw your skin. Watch it, oh. Emma. It doesn't make sense. Oh. I'll cut you like a fish. <laughs> oh, let's go ride the fucking. Get back here. So that's scare zone again. The hooked. I'm gonna try and find the uh, pumpkin eater one. I think it's somewhere up this way. Walking through the pumpkin eater scare zone again and see if anything has changed. 
up this way. You know, I don't know what that smell is. It's food coming from somewhere and it smells absolutely amazing. Let's see what's going on through here if we have any any scaring going on. We got one. Sounds like a girl is crying in there. I'm gonna check out what's over here. Got some pumpkin displays. Very cool. Walk around the side here. Hope nobody jumps out and gets me. There's a couple people walking around. It's like most of the scaring is going on up here. So this is what the front of the park looks like at night when it's all lit up. You can see people are getting their photos there. And the skeletons being lit up are really cool too. But check out the fountain area. Very cool. Check out this shot of the Eiffel Tower here. How cool is this? We got the uh, smoke, the fog effect with the orange glowing eyes. Very creepy looking, but also very cool. All right, now we're gonna take a walk back over to the Snoopy land, I think it is. And I'm gonna show you how dark and eerie an amusement park looks when half of it's shut down. Here's on Boo Hill, and unfortunately, it's closed. So it's kind of hard to see, but we're over here at the Camp Snoopy area, what is locked off, and it is super creepy. You guys ever play the game Left 4 Dead 2? Well, you know the Dark Carnival campaign? This is a lot like it, because it's super creepy, it's super dark out and you can't see anything aside from what's already been lit up. Walk over here real quick and see more of the park that's turned off. I mean, look how creepy that is. That is super creepy. You have this right here is closed off obviously there's nothing going on and you got the whole park over here lit up it's just crazy do you guys want to see what the park looks like at night from the top of the eiffel tower let's go see what the line looks like and we'll go up there catching one of the shows right now night from the top of the Eiffel Tower here. All you see is fog all over the place. It's very windy up here, but it feels amazing. Here's another shot of the side of the park, sort of to the left of the entrance. This is an amazing view right here. This right here is the back of the park facing away from the entrance. This is incredible. 
incredible. This is called the farmer's market. Wonder what's through here. Just a lot of ooey gooey stuff going on. And that's it. Until next time, Kings Island, it's been fun. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on Kings Island Halloween Haunt 2024. What a day. We are just shy of midnight, about 30 minutes to go before the park closes. And let me tell you, it has been fun. I would have to say the haunts this year, very cool. I definitely liked Slaughterhouse. I liked the Kill Mart, you know, all of that. I dig it, it was fun, and I will definitely be back next year. So, I know I had a lot of ground to cover, some stuff I wasn't able to show. It's been a wild ride all day. If you haven't checked out Kings Island's Halloween Haunt, I highly recommend that you get down here and check it out. That being said, Thank you so much for watching today. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for following me around. It has been a hectic day. It's been super fun. I got scared quite a bit. That being said, again, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that as well. Go ahead, subscribe, comment, share if you already haven't. And remember, take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.